What if you could really uproot all of your excuses, your self-sabotage, your fears, your doubts, all of your negativity, which is your resistance to getting that weight off and keeping it off? If you could really do this, then what would be standing in your way of reaching your ultimate weight loss goal and staying there? Does it make sense that nothing would be standing in your way then? Welcome back to the JoLynn Braley Show. This is episode number 358. Today's topic, the alternate way to use the inner self diet. Welcome back to the JoLynn Braley Show. This is JoLynn Braley, permanent weight loss coach, weight loss mindset expert, founder of the Inner Self Diet, the diet that actually works, the diet that is the only diet that really matters because it fixes the real reasons you continue to sabotage your goal of getting to your goal weight and staying there, being normal with food, all of those goals that you have for yourself of feeling good in your own skin, of looking your best, feeling your best, keeping your word to yourself, feeling like you're a success instead of a big old fat failure, right? So the inner self diet, it heals the root of the issues, the core root problems that drive your food obsessions, your binge eating, your emotional eating, your unhealthy knee-jerk responses to food, the fact that you continue to buy the foods that you know you can't stop eating, all of the things that you do to get in your own way to stop your weight loss. The Inner Self Diet heals all of that and it sets you free. It sets you free. The Inner Self Diet is not a food diet. Instead, it, I already said it, it goes to the root of the problem. It is pretty amazing. Since 2009, I have been coaching amazing coaching clients through my proven step-by-step -step system, and it works as long as you do it. Doesn't work for anybody who doesn't do it. So if you have been listening to the JoLynn Braley Show, and if by any chance you mistakenly thought that my podcast is the Inner Self Diet, I just want to clear up right now, this podcast is not the Inner Self Diet. The Inner Self Diet includes two-way communication, real-time feedback, personal coaching, so that I help my awesome coaching clients overcome their personal inner battles. This podcast is a free weight loss podcast. And the purpose, the reason that I started this podcast back in the first week of January 2013 was to help raise the awareness that the mainstream diet industry doesn't tell you the whole story. And it doesn't really mean that the mainstream diet industry is bad. It's just that their whole focus is on the food, the exercise, which, hey, let's get real. You do have to change your eating habits. Absolutely. And you have to live a healthy lifestyle if you want to get that weight off and keep it off. But that's only 7.2% of the entire solution. 92.8% is all about your mindset, what's going on in your head, your emotional state, all of the stuff in the background in your subconscious that you have running constantly that you're not even aware of, all these things that are influencing directly 
what you are choosing to eat, how much you're eating, when you're eating, your blind spots that you can't see on your own because it's a blind spot. Nobody can see their own blind spot. You got to get help to get past those things. That's why if you've ever been able to stick with healthy eating for a short amount of time, but you always end up hitting that wall and something happens and you slide right back to where you used to be and then you're even heavier than when you started, that's because of all of the undercurrent that you're not aware of that has never been addressed and it hasn't been healed and you haven't gotten coaching with the right coach to heal all of that. I don't mean a nutrition coach or a food diet coach or a coach who tells you to change your meal portions and journal what you're eating. I'm not saying those things are bad. Those things are great if you already have 92.8% of the puzzle piece in place, and that's all about your internal world. If you want to fully succeed with your weight, then you have to go about it from the inside out. That's the work I do with my awesome coaching clients. Been doing it since 2009. I think I already said that, didn't I? Works every time for everybody who does it. Oh, that's what I was talking about. I was explaining the fact that the inner self diet is the inner self diet. That's personal coaching with me. This podcast is information to help open the eyes of everybody, all the awesome people, you who's listening, to help you understand why you've never been able to to get to where you want to go by just doing a food diet. All right? Does that make sense? Okay, so right now, I want to share the alternate way to use the inner self diet. And this is actually something that I'm sharing with my current coaching clients because it's another way to go about getting out of your own way. First, before I do that, if you want to just get some free tips in a very easy download, there's no talking to me. There's nothing you got to do except just enter your first name, enter your email address, click a button, check your email. Super, super simple. Go over to www.easyfunweightloss.com, enter your first name and your email, and get my simple download of three simple steps to start making weight loss easier from the inside out. You can get that now at www.easyfunweightloss.com. That is for you if you are not really sure what I'm talking about here. You are so ingrained in the diet mentality. And I don't mean the inner self diet, I mean food diet mentality. You've never done the inner work. You know, maybe you've journaled, but there's nothing like getting coaching with the right coach to go all the way to the real problems so that you really break free. Like I was saying, you can just get a tiny, tiny, take a tiny, tiny baby step totally free. Go over to www.easyfunweightloss.com to get that now. All right. So I have several series here in the JoLynn Braley show that tell you even more about the inner self diet. One of them is a 10 part sub series of my podcast. It's called Real Results of the Inner Self Diet. And it includes eight audio interviews with real people who have already graduated the inner self diet and you get to hear from them tell you if it really works or not and they can tell you is struggle-free weight loss real is it really possible the simplest way to find these specific sub series that i have recorded and published here in the jolyn braley show the specific sub series that are about the inner self diet is just search for the inner self diet in the JoLynn Braley show and then you'll find those podcast episodes. That's really the easiest way to do that. And 
any of those will give you more insight into the inner self diet. But bottom line, the inner self diet is not for you if you're looking for some kind of a quick fix that enables you to avoid the real problems. The inner self diet is for you if it makes sense to you that all these years, since you were a kid, all this lifetime that you've been struggling with your relationship with food, with your weight, with your body image, feeling like you're not good enough, feeling like a failure when you lose weight but you can't keep it off, all of these problems that you've been having, if it makes sense to you that you've never addressed the root cause, you don't have the right mindset, you're missing the mental piece, you're missing the emotional piece, you're missing the piece that addresses your internal world, and if it makes sense to you that you have to become a match on the inside to what you want to look like on the outside. Otherwise, you can never maintain your goal weight on the outside. The inner and the outer always match. So in simple terms, you have to become the you who will naturally live a healthy lifestyle. And all of the times that you've tried to force yourself to lose weight, but you always boomerang back, that's because on the inside, you still have fat thoughts, you still have fat programming, you still have a fat emotional state, and it doesn't match a thin body. Okay? So if all this makes sense to you and you're excited about Fixing this once and for all by going deep, going to the root of the whole thing, then the inner self diet is for you. I don't work with people who they just want a quick fix or all they want to do is complain about their problems, but they're not willing to do any work to fix it. They want to keep lying to themselves. They want to keep blaming other people, blaming food. They don't want to take any personal responsibility. I am not interested in coaching folks like that. I love coaching the ones who are sincere about change, changing themselves, changing the things about themselves that aren't working, keeping everything that they really appreciate and like about themselves. Those folks are a joy to coach. All right, so here's the thing about the alternate way to use the inner self diet. And if you want to listen in for a second, I have a message that is specifically for my current coaching clients in the inner self diet. And I want to share this with them. And then you can listen in the background and then you will get a better understanding of what I'm talking about when I say that there's an alternate way to use the inner self diet. All right, so speaking to my current coaching clients now, up until this point, what you've been doing is you have been using the tools and each of the proven steps of the inner self diet to release your resistance, to get out of your own way, to move the boulders out of the way that made you feel hopeless before you ever came to the inner self diet, that put you in that place where you were really stuck and you couldn't get motivated and you just didn't feel like anything was working, even though you already knew what you needed to do to lose weight, you just weren't able to get yourself to do it. The self-doubt, the negativity, the negative thinking, the low self-confidence, all of the different problems and the specific challenges that you have been dealing with to unravel all of that with each of these steps that you have been doing here in the inner self diet. And then the purpose is so that you get to the place where you are naturally inspired 
to take action to live healthy and fit. That's how it all works. And that is the struggle-free weight loss because when you are inspired from the inside out in spirit, inspiration, that comes from within. When you are inspired from the inside out to take healthy action, there's no struggle. You're not forcing yourself. You're not having to use willpower. But the way that you get to that is you've got to do the steps consistently that are the inner self diet, the steps that you've been learning all the way up until this point. Now that you have been at this up until this point, an alternate way to use the inner self diet is jump in to your healthy eating plan that specifically for you, you know, has worked for you in the past, right? And depending on where you're at at this point, you're either already doing that or you still have remnants of resistance standing in your way. Okay, it just depends on where you're at at this point in the whole process. If you've already gotten all the way to the struggle free zone, or if you have one or two steps to go. Okay, and either way, what you can do if you want to is you can just make the decision that from this point forward, you are implementing the daily actions that are that healthy eating plan that has worked for you in the past. And if you do have any remnants of struggle, any resistance, any self-sabotage, any fears, any doubts that come up, when you take action to do your healthy eating plan right now, if you're not already doing it, okay? If you make yourself step into that now, it's going to bring up anything that is unresolved within you. So if you have fears of missing out, that's going to come up. All right. And then what do you do? You use the inner self diet tools to move through that resistance and release it fully until it is gone. So this is a, it's a backwards way of working with the inner self diet. It's not the conventional way that I teach this, but it's an alternate. And you may need to use some force. It it may not be struggle-free for you to step into your healthy eating plan right now. But if you want to push the process along and bring up anything else that could be standing in your way, any remaining excuses, any remaining fears, any remaining doubts, any remaining whatever it is, if it's a limiting belief, it could be anything, all right? There's, there's so many things. But then what will happen is you will use the tools that you've already got in your toolbox. You've got so many of them by now. And you know exactly how to release that resistance. If you don't, ask me. That's what I'm here for. But the whole point of what we're doing here in the inner self diet is to get to that place where it is struggle free for you to live a healthy lifestyle where you actually prefer and it feels natural and normal to eat healthy, to be normal with food, to prefer the healthy whole foods over the fake food to feel good and at peace about taking time for yourself each day to do what you need to do to reach your goals, to stop being a people pleaser, 
to stop abusing yourself with food. And so what I'm proposing here, what I'm saying is that this is simply an alternate way to go about it. Normally, I don't suggest doing this because if you're not fully at that struggle-free place yet, then you'll have to push yourself along to step into and commit fully to your healthy eating plan. But I promise you that what's going to happen is any negativity that you have for doing it, it's going to come up. And then whatever's coming up is coming up for the purpose of healing. And you have the tools to work with it. And of course, I'm here with you to help you work through any of it. All right. Does this make sense? Okay, for those of you here on the podcast, you got to listen in while I I shared that alternate way to use the inner self diet with my current coaching clients. Now, will this work for you? It'll only work for you if you have all of the tools and the training and the steps of the inner self diet. If you are, hey, here's a great point. If you're listening to this and you are a graduate of the inner self diet, then you got it made. All right. Now, you wouldn't even need to do this if you kept up with your daily practice of addressing your inner self, keeping that connection with yourself, maintaining your inner self balance, your inner self foundation ever since you graduated the inner self diet. If for any reason you stopped using your inner self diet tools, which are meant to go with you the rest of your life, they are coping skills, they are the ways to deal with the negative situations in your life and deal with those things without using food to cope. So then, worst case scenario, you could have a really negative situation going on, but you're not gaining weight. You're not going to have a double problem on your plate after that negative situation passes, you know? So if you're not a graduate of the Inner Self Diet listening to this podcast, if you don't have the tools, then what you can take away from this free weight loss podcast is the fact that once you do have the Inner Self tools that will put you back into your place of power. They will give you the freedom from the food. They will put food in its proper place. Then you will be able to navigate throughout your life and live healthy and fit without backsliding as long as you continue using those inner self diet tools. You know, the inner self diet is not the kind of thing where, oh, I did that and I'm done. Have you ever tried to just take one shower and you're done? You'd be pretty stinky by now. You'd probably get fired from your job. If you were in a relationship, they would leave you. You might even get kicked out of your your residence because you just stink so bad. So... Why do people expect that, well, it's the same thing with the, with the eating, okay? The inner self diet addresses the real problems that drive you to use food as a crutch, to use food to feel better. When you use the tools, they work. You need to maintain your inner world, your inner connection, your inner balance so that You're able to navigate through your day-to-day life and your ups and downs without turning to food and making yourself fat again. 
Does this make sense? All right. So here's another tip for you. The inner self diet is not for you. If you're just looking for not only a quick fix, but something that you could say, oh, been there, done that. Next. What's up next? What else can I do? Where's the next thing? Where's the next shiny object? Nope. That's not what the inner self diet is. The inner self diet should be your last stop. You know, you already feel like you've done everything. Okay? The inner self diet goes to the heart of the matter. You get all the tools you need to continue to maintain yourself, your head, your emotional state, day by day by day for the rest of your life so that you don't go back and start abusing yourself again with food. Does this make sense? Otherwise, if you didn't have tools to work with and take away, then what would that make me? So you'd have to be attached to me and come live with me for the rest of your life to keep getting, I don't know, like some kind of life blood so that you would stand up and take care of yourself. That's not happening. All right. You got to learn how to step into your own power. You got to take care. You're the only one who could steer your ship. And I teach my clients how to do that for themselves. That's why I got to give them all the tools to do that. As a reminder, if you only want a tiny, teeny, tiny, itty bitty baby step to just learn a little bit more, go over to www.easyfunweightloss.com, enter your first name and email, download my free tips there. You can do that right now, www.easyfunweightloss.com. Here's a couple questions that you can ask yourself before I wrap up today's podcast. Grab pen and paper, write each question down, pen on paper, then write your answer down. Just pause as you need more time. You will then get the connection between your head, hand, and heart. You will be getting out of your head also getting out of the spinning, out of the anxiety, stepping into your present moment, getting present with yourself. Otherwise, if all you do is listen to me talk, not going to get a whole lot out of this. And if you type on a keyboard, you don't get that connection between your head, hand, and heart. All right, so first question. What are all of your tools that you use daily to maintain your mindset, your emotional state, maintain your center, So that even when you have negative situations, you don't turn to food to avoid them, to stuff them, to use as a crutch, to feel better, to get through life, or to use food as fun. All right? What are all of the tools that you use that work for you? You use them each day. And it means that you're not binge eating, you're not emotional eating. You're either already at your goal weight or you're close to it and you're having a very easy time of living your life, even though your life isn't perfect, but you're definitely not using food to get through it. Food is not a crutch. So once again, just make a list of all of your tools that you use each day that work for you to accomplish these goals. Number two question. What is your daily practice to make sure that you're using these tools each day? It's a priority and it's working for you. You've got the consistency. You've got accountability with your coach and you're getting the results. So what is your daily practice? Number three question. If you don't have any of this that I just asked about in those first two questions, what if you did? What if you could go through your day-to-day life with all the ups and downs, even the negative situations, even the really bad situations, but if you had the right tools that would help you get through those times without using food as a crutch, then... What would you weigh? 
How would you look? How would you feel? Write it all down. Number four question, if you could have what you just wrote. And number three, how would you feel about yourself? How would you feel about yourself? Number five question, what would be the biggest, most important benefit to you if you could really have those results that you wrote about in number three? What would it do for you? How would that help you? Number six question, why is it even so important to you to do this? Why is it so important for you to break free of your personal food and weight challenges? Now, this is assuming that you couldn't answer the first two questions. You don't have the tools. You don't have a daily practice. You don't have accountability. You don't have a coach. So now we're just working with these last questions, three, four, five, six. All right, so this last question is, why is this so important to you? Why do you have to get these results for yourself? And if you don't have a strong enough why, guess what? That's why you're still where you are. It's really not that important to you. And hey, that's okay. I mean, it's your life. It's your life. Nobody really cares unless you care. You're the only one who can care about you. Even if you're married, nobody cares if you don't care. Nobody can want for you more than you want for yourself. You can have loved ones in your life and they can love you as much as they can. But if you don't love yourself and you don't believe in yourself and you don't care about yourself, it's not a priority for you to look your best, feel your best, have the best health, feel good in your own skin, like seeing what you see in the mirror when you get out of the shower. If this is not important enough to you, doesn't matter. Nobody cares. The best relationship that you can ever have with another person all hinges on the relationship that you have with yourself. If you don't value yourself enough, what are you bringing to the table? Now, this is not actually what I started out talking about here on today's podcast, but all of this ties in. You know, people come to me because they want to lose weight, and then after they get going and after they're doing the steps I give them, then they start to really get it. They're like, oh, 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 I'm getting it now. Now I'm really getting it. This is... uh, This is really not about weight loss. This is really about healing me. And as a byproduct, I'm getting the weight loss. This is what I really needed. But I thought I only wanted to lose weight. Now I'm handling the real issues and the weight is coming off pretty cool stuff. Well, thanks for tuning in to today's episode of the JoLynn Braley Show. This has been episode number 358. If you actually want to stop struggling with your food and weight issues that have been a battle for you since childhood, and you want my help to do this, then your first step will be found at www.discovery-session.com. I wish you your best life living inside of your ideal body.